Hi guys. It's Monday evening, almost 6.30. It's the 5th of September. And I've been a busy bee this afternoon. Yeah, a bit busier than I was over the weekend, but... Um, one of the reasons it's taken a few days to get a video done is because this camera is pissing me off. Twice I've recorded a video and twice the file has been corrupted. But not the second video I did for the LEGO channel. That worked fine. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It's uh, just being an ass pain. Anyway, didn't really do a lot Friday or Saturday anyway. Um, Sunday, as you know, I was over at Mum's, as I am every Sunday. Came back with a um, handful of items. Two bikes. <coughs> one ladies hybrid, one gents mountain bike. Uh, the mountain bike's oldish, uh, but it's in good condition for its age. It's in very good condition for its age, actually. And all I've had to do is just set up the brakes where I had to mess with them to get the wheels out to get it in the car, pump the tyres up, because they were holding air, but they were a little bit low, so I just pumped, you know, topped them up. Tightened up the rear wheel bearings because they were a little bit loose. In fact, the lock nut for the bearing cone was loose as well. And I changed the saddle for a more suitable saddle for that style of bike. So, in a little while, I'm going downstairs and I'm going to take a photo of that. The ladies' hybrid, I haven't got a seat post for because I haven't got one that will actually uh, fit it which is a drag but then I noticed there's quite a few bits broken on it anyway so um, I played a fiver for both bikes by the way from um, Biggles he knew someone who was cleaning out a garage and they'd given it to him with two kids bikes so technically I paid a fiver for four bikes <laughs> but the ladies hybrid I'm going to use to fix two other bikes I've got. I've got a ladies mountain bike where the handlebar has seized into the forks and it's seized in at the wrong angle because I wanted to um, it looks like someone had turned the handlebar round so they could lay it flat against something in the garage or something and they've just seized into that position and uh, trying to get them to turn I've actually bent the forks which doesn't really matter because I'm going to have to cut the handlebar stem, my usual trick, in order to get the f forks out anyway, um, to replace them, because it's the only option I've got. And I'm going to hopefully use the ones on this hybrid bike. I'll just give them a paint of black paint, or a coat of black paint, I should say. But um, they are the right style. I'm just hoping the steerer tube isn't going to be too long. <laughs> I have checked on that hybrid, it does come off. And then I've got another, well technically it's a three speed bike, but I haven't got a three speed wheel, so I'm going to use the wheels out of this hybrid bike, in this old universal bike, clean it up, probably turn it into a five speed, because it hasn't got front gears, and see if I can get a bit of cash for that as well. Because uh, in theory, as it'll only have the rear gears, five rear gears, I think, five or six, I can't remember, what that wheel's got should be a piece of cake to do it's already got brakes on it bugger might have to change the brake blocks though because it should have steel wheels in it not alloy and these wheels I've got are alloy oh, well I'll cross that bridge when I get to it so yeah um, take this plate through I've got that little um, AUS stereo up there as well, portable stereo, and that little white box on here is an airbrush air compressor that I'm going to use to dust down my uh, Lego town. Should make life a bit easier. 
Oh, and I've got that HP laptop that's uh, down there somewhere. I'll show you that later. But it's knackered. The motherboard's gone. There seems to be an issue, a big issue with the motherboard, actually. Right. I need a knife. Knife! I'll go downstairs, take a couple of photos. Uh, I'm going to make some sandwiches and pour myself a drink because I'm thirsty as hell. Oh, and uh, just before I disappear, I've got my Schwinn back and an Apollo full suspension mountain bike, or at least the frame, which I'm certain was one I had a while back anyway. I'm fairly certain it's the same bike. <laughs> Or at least, you know, a similar one. But I had an Apollo FS... Is it an FS26, I believe? A while back. That was a nice bike. I might be thinking of a different Apollo, actually. No, I'm certain it was an FS26. Might have a photo on Facebook, so I can double check. <laughs> Right, I need a butter knife. Butter knife. I'm going to make some corned beef sandwiches. And some bread. Let's let that soak in that cold water. Where the fuck are all my butter knives gone? Right, well, I'm going to shut the camera down and hope that this segment works. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work last time, but. Fingers crossed, because I don't really want to do this video for the umpteenth fucking time. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, I'm going to get something to eat. Then I'm going to take those photos and whatnot. And, uh, as Terminator once said, I'll be back. I'm just going to go until the battery dies, because I think I've just wasted a bunch of energy doing a piss poor segment. And I dropped the camera as well. <laughs> anyway, I was just watching this video. This He's braver than me. I don't mind heights, but I am not going to ride around on a unicycle or even a bicycle around the top of a chimney like that. What is it? An 850 foot chimney. No, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll pass. <sighs> finally got my finally got my um blah 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 blah, blah pills. See look at that. I didn't put these two batteries on that long ago. Oh the charge is in the dark, hang on, there it is. And they've already charged. So I've got another set here. <sighs> Roll on when I get them cameras up there done. Yep, I was playing with them last night. Made a temporary power supply up so I could basically just play around with all the settings and whatnot on it. And uh, found out they do have an AV socket on them. I thought that was weird that they didn't. I just wasn't looking hard enough. Um, it's not under the panel on the side. It's under the panel that's hidden at the front. <laughs> There's also a microphone jack on there as well. So I could plug in an exter there. Yeah, I'll try again. An external microphone. If I had a decent one, I've only got some old crappy ones from like the Windows 98 era. I don't think I've got a big, decent microphone anyway. Oh, Jesus. I've got a USB one, but that's not a lot of use, is it? I don't think I'd kept the other ones. Oh, oh stuff me. Oh! I'm a bit stiff. <sighs> Jesus! Yeah.
Well, I've put that old mountain bike up for sale already, and I've said it's old, but it's in very good condition for its age. Which it is, it's not a lie. Um, I don't know how old it is, but it's got the old style brake caliper brakes. Like you'd get on the old three speeds and whatnot. But it's in very good cosmetic condition. Barely any rust. And it rides like a dream. I might just loosen the steer tube off a little bit. Because the steering feels a little tight. But aside from that... Then again, I didn't really notice it when I rode it. Mm. Yeah, but aside from that, it is in good condition. Bloody good condition for its age. Uh, the hybrid one I'm going to use to fix two other bikes. Um, just because I can. Because I really can't be asked for that hybrid because it's not worth it. It's not worth the... I don't deem it worth the hassle. So that's going to go out on my trailer out front. For anybody that wants it. Um, I've taken some photos of that trailer as well and put an ad on Gumtree, you know. Free bike bits. Come have a look. <laughs> Except the bikes that are leaning up beside it, of course, because they're not mine. They're the only ones up here that aren't actually mine. I've got an itch. Right. Oh, fuck sake. <sighs> and you'll probably think of continuity because I'm wearing a different shirt, but because I can't remember where I put the other one when I took it off, so I'll just grab this one. It should have gone with my dirty laundry yesterday. But I've got this one, one in my hand, a bit of wind coming out of the back door, and another one lying down there. <laughs> Or talk the wind coming out my back door. Oh, Jesus, my I had to go some to beat my stepdad last night. <laughs> that was a bit ripe. Right. I've got no idea what I'm gonna do this evening. Nemo's bugging me because he wants some grub. God <sighs> Liddles had no freeway cola, so I have to get the Pepsi. I bet they do that deliberately, you know. Not run the stock down, but I bet they wait a bit, you know, to sell the Pepsi. Because the freeway, being cheaper at 42 pence a bottle, always sells out before this Pepsi. So, <laughs> so I bet Lidl's actually do it deliberately. It's not bad, I don't mind drinking Pepsi Max. Um, it's just 99p a bottle. It's about roughly 50p cheaper than everywhere else. Well, actually, it used to be like £1.90 for a 2 litre bottle of like Pepsi and Coca Cola, but I think they dropped the price. It's bloody ridiculous. You get them two, them little, you know, 250 milliliter bottles. Um, and they now cost, in some places, £1.50 alone. But you can get a big 2-litre bottle for that. I know if you're out and about, you probably don't want a large 2-litre bottle. But it's still better value for money. That's why I don't really buy the little dinky little bottles of soda anymore. It's even worse if you go into these little sort of paper shops and whatnot, corner shops, convenience stores, their prices are always elevated more than anywhere else. I mean, I went into my local one once, uh, before last Christmas, it would have been sort of December time, looking for a roll of sticky tape and it was actually cheaper to go and get the sellotape brand, the proper brand it was cheaper for me 
to go into Sainsbury's, a supermarket, and buy it there than it was to buy it in my local convenience store. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like three, four pounds for a roll of sellotape. One roll of sellotape. And it was like, what was it, 99p or something in Sainsbury's? For a roll of the actual sellotape brand. Sellotape, sticky tape. <laughs> so yeah, I try, for that reason, I try to avoid the corner shops. Because they are quite expensive. Especially McColl's. Now they're a chain convenience store, so I don't see why they've got to have such extortionate prices. Ah, it looks like my friend has seen the photo of his... I took a photo of the lady's bike um, and put it on Facebook and tagged him in it so he could show his mum. It's a lot easier than him trying to describe it to her, you know, there's a physical photo there. But that's the only one I've got at the moment. Anyway, I need to go use the crapper, so I'm going to go and do that, and, uh... I don't like doing that at the minute. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll be back in a little while. I just burped. Not only does it taste of Pepsi Max, it tastes of corned beef. Anyway, I think I've got everything sorted for the night. I've eaten. Everything's locked up. Apart from the bike I'm going to take to bits because I didn't see any point in that. If someone steals it, oh well. <laughs> I don't care. Well, I do care because it means I'm not going to have the bits I need to do up two bikes at Mum's, but I've not lost anything monetary-wise because it's worth <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not too bothered basically if it does go walkies um, so yeah I've got my Schwinn back I've got that Apollo suspension bike frame which I can just chuck on a couple of grip shifts different handlebar I'm still certain that was mine at some point in the past and it's one of mine that I've sold but I've looked on my Facebook and I can't find a photo of it. Unless I sold it before I got a photo of it. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, well, I've got a couple of wheels and a bag of bits as well. So, uh, Yeah. All for um, loaning out a bike to him till uh, he can buy his new one. Well, I've got no reason to doubt him. Just for the simple reason, I was down the stairs and I could hear him upstairs. I'd already gone down the stairs with my arm full of tyres and wheels and bits and a bag of bits. And he was still upstairs talking to his friend and his girlfriend, saying, you know, I'm borrowing a bike till I finish paying for my brand new one. Because he's bought one from the cycle shop in town. £349. A Claude Butler. Urban 4000, I think. Nice looking bike. Because um, he wanted to borrow my Claude Butler. No, I'm not letting that one go. No, 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 no. That is my baby. That stays with me. He says I don't. He said I don't blame you. <laughs> no, I couldn't. It was tempting for what I was going to get as you know the rental payment. <laughs> um, so even if the bike came back and damaged, you know, I'll, I can make some money back anyway. Because, uh, like I said, I could do this repair the Schwinn because uh, somehow the handlebars got bent I'm not sure how he managed that it's either bent or he's turned it round I'm not sure I'll have a look at some point <laughs> but the Apollo frame like I said that'll fix up 
Just find a pair of grip shifts to uh, stick on it. Hopefully I've got something in my drawer that I can make a pair. Oh, no, never mind. I've got some on some handlebars up here. I keep forgetting they are there. Oh, my side's pulling again. And I bet this is from opening that fucking shed door because they haven't fixed it yet. And they're not going to get to it till the 16th. They better not cancel. Otherwise I'll park my bikes up their fucking arsehole. Right. Can't even continue with my Lego plane yet because I haven't got the wings. They're the bit I need. <laughs> the engine's arrived. I was a bit surprised because I got four. I weren't expecting four. I thought I'd only bought two. And I thought they'd sent me two by mistake, but I looked at my order. Nope, I had ordered four. Oops. <laughs> I don't remember clicking on buy it now for two lots. Unless I did it accidentally thinking, you know, it was only for one engine. Oh well, there's two that can go in my drawer over here. Two can go in there. I've just got to put the centre bits in, which I'll nick out two engines out of my drawer. Uh, what else arrived? the buffers for my uh, train caboose thing Let me go on that tub so I believe that's the one I've got the train wheels in uh, so I've just got to wait for the other train wheel to arrive as well buy the windows that I need for that caboose and I'm ready to build that as well <sighs> My eight-legged friend from up there has disappeared. Where's he? Ah. That hurt. <laughs> so did that. <laughs> well, I've got a different eight-legged friend up there. <laughs> when I was at Mum's yesterday, there was a flipping great big one went running across the lounge floor. I'm standing in the lounge doorway because um, I was boiling a kettle because there was no hot water. So I was boiling the kettle to uh, fill the sink up for mum and I'm standing in the doorway watching the TV and I look down at the floor and I just see this fucking red spider go wandering across the floor. I just went to mum, your eight-legged friend has just gone running across there. <laughs> Well, she was gone upstairs out of the way and stepdad actually went down, found it, picked it up and put it outside. He doesn't mind doing things like that. I can't because I don't like insects touching my skin. Blech. When they're up there, because I've got one over there and that one over there, I don't mind. They can stay up there. I just don't like the feel of their little legs running all over my arms. <laughs> it's quite funny. Mum's terrified of them. She is terrified of them. There's only a little one up there, but that big old... I'm sure that half a spider was there this morning. Oh well. He's scared. Oh, I didn't him up this corner, is it? Nope, that's not a half a spider. What if I piss them off with my laser pen? <laughs> Shall I be that cruel? Nah. At least not on camera. <laughs> oh, I can't find my laser pointer anyway. Get a tickly nose. Yeah. So I'm going to put this tenner in my bank tomorrow. And hopefully, as long as uh, they're pretty quick with their payments when the laptop sells, I should be able to pay for my uh, Lego. 
I've got a couple of bicycles. So, if I get stuck for grub, I can sell them. At least, well, I've got one up for sale at least. Shouldn't get stuck for grub because I've got some change I can go and get some supplies with. I think maybe tomorrow I might have a clean up up here. My landing is good and clean out there by the front door, apart from the mountain bike I sat out there. <laughs> I know Victory sent me that letter. Clean all your box items off your landing. <laughs> they only come round and uh, inspect about once a year, so <laughs> I'll just leave the bike there. <laughs> is that the cleaner? No, it is a cleaner. Right. I have no idea why I came in here. But I do need to have a little bit of a sort out in here as well. That's got to be a project. Hmm. Perhaps I could build that up for him and uh, say, here, you can use your Claude Butler again and I can get my giant back. I haven't got no decent gear shifters though. I've got everything else. I've got Dralias. This has got a front Dralia on it. I've got the rear Dralia mech. I've got pedals I can whack on it. Got brakes. You know, seat posts and everything. Handlebar. Handlebar for this apparently is on the Apollo. That he'd give me today. Ah, uh, pardon me. So... But this one's tempting to keep because I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera, but right there is Claude Butler's signature. It's probably a print, you know, probably not his actual physical signature on the frame, but uh, it's still got his signature on, and I've never seen that done to any Claude Butler bike. I don't think I could... Uh, no, I can't uprate that to disc. Because I was thinking of, you know, uprating, uprating it to front disc brake. I'd have to change the forks for that. And they're actually threaded forks. Hmm. It's got a threaded steerer tube on it. That's... Hmm, I don't know if this bike is actually as new as he said it was. Because he said it was only four years old. I could be wrong, but I think it might be. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. All that room on that shelf in there, haven't I? What are you up to, Bonzo? You've got food in your dish. You did have. I've actually been tempted to put these old VHS cameras on as well. You know, and just keep my favourite ones like this Samson, because I really do like this Samson. Not used it, but I really do like it. This one works, and it's got tapes with it. Battery doesn't hold a charge. It charges, but it lasts about two minutes. <laughs> I've got all the decks there, and I've got this one that just that works. Just no battery. That's a cannon. Vintage hair clippers, small pair, a couple of large pairs up there as well. And at some point, maybe when I've got my parts for the other cameras, I'm going to take this old VCR apart and see if I can get in there and actually properly clean the heads. Uh, I think that's the only thing that's actually wrong with it. And fuck me, is that VCR heavy? That's a rare one. I've got a video on my channel. Um, it's rare because it uses one of these. Which is a double-sided VHS tape. Or a double-sided tape, I should say. 
because it's not actually VHS, I don't think. I think the format is different. Video compact cassette. Ah, one of 12 volt vids on YouTube has actually got something similar to this. Hmm, I could ask, I suppose. What are you doing, you numbnut? Hmm. I'm a little bit worried because I haven't heard from Mum today either. You must be the only cat I know that will move his lips without making a sound. Right. I think I'm going to call it it for the video and hope. Hope all these segments work when I put them on the PC because I've been having issues with that. That's why I'm getting those uh, Panasonics sorted. I know it uses a cassette tape. I can't remember what type, but let's see if I can actually find some on uh, eBay as well. But uh, these work absolutely fine. It's going to take me a bit longer to put a video up when it comes to that, though, because you know I've got to transfer it from this to the PC, and to do that I've got to rewind it and play it. So if I make a 20-minute long video, it's going to take 20 minutes to put it to the PC. Then I've got to export it from the program into a video format that the PC will recognise and play. Then I've got to bring it over and put it on this PC and whatnot. But uh, it's worth it. It's worth it, I think. Because um, I'm going to start doing... Uh, actual videos based on a subject. Now, it could be me fixing a bike, it could be me talking about a random electronic item, or even one of my road lamps, my barricade lamps. Because I was looking through my videos the other day, and I actually noticed that for some reason, and surprisingly to me at least, that my road lamp videos, my barricade lamp videos, seem to be getting, or seem to be one of the videos I've ever done that get the most views. I thought they would actually get the least. But uh, no, they've actually got quite a... For a small channel like mine, they've got a decent number of views. I mean, I know 79 views isn't going to sound a lot to big YouTubers, but... For me, with 105 subscribers, that is actually a good number to me. So, the best thing is with this camera as well, I've got two of these, so if one fucks up, I've got another one. <laughs> um, but it's going to be cheaper to get the battery and a charger for one of those than it is to buy a camera. Um, so at least I could save instead of buying the first cheapest thing I come across I could actually now save once I've got them working and uh, get something half decent you know a proper little digital camcorder thing anyway I think I'm going to shut the camera off before I ramble on too much um Right, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, because Mum was supposed to come up town to a dental appointment. I don't know if she did and just went straight home, but she had to have descaling done, and that really hurts her mouth afterwards. Uh, so, so I'm actually hoping she'll ring tonight. Or will she? I can't remember if she's working tonight or not, actually. I don't think she is. I think it's tomorrow. I do hate that about jobs where your shifts are just random. You know, one minute you could be doing a night shift, then your next shift could be a day shift. And <laughs> well, I suppose that's what comes from um, working in care. 
it can um, fluctuate like that. I don't think it bothers Mum. I don't think she's keen on the night shifts, though. But uh, pay is pay. Anywho, like I said, I'm rambling. So I'm going to shut this off, get the footage onto the PC and hope it bloody works. If not, this camera may end up out front there somewhere. <laughs> so if you suddenly don't see a video uploaded for a couple of weeks, you'll know why, because I've killed the camera. <laughs> right, so thanks for watching. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the best news, actually. I'm going to get a decent camera, so... Well... I think anything's better than this thing. I really don't like the quality of it. So, uh, something to look forward to. It's going to be at least a couple of weeks before I get them cameras done. Anyway, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. No idea what I'm doing tomorrow yet, but I'll talk to you all tomorrow anyway. Bye!